What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I am JB and today we're coming back for another video, we're going to take a look at Polygon's Matic, we've seen an explosive move to the upside for Matic recently, let's have a look what has happened, what is likely to happen next across the one hour, the one day and the one week timeframes and as always guys if you're enjoying the content coming to you recently smash up that like button, subscribe, tap on the bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto. Let's get straight on down to this one for today. Polygon's Matic paired up with USDT, the one of our chart we will start off with here. BitGet is the data source for this, uh, the, you know, this chart. So the moves we have seen play out, you know, it's been quite an explosive move to the upside. Let's just take quick, uh, quick stock here of this actual move to the upside. You know, we're looking at a 26% move. Fantastic to see. Overall, though, what is actually going on here? What do we think is happening? Well, previously, I think the last time I looked at this in particular, we've seen this C wave move up towards this potential wave one low. So overall, there was the potential playing out here for a five wave move to the upside with a big wave four. And there was a potential for this to carry on down to the downside. So it's being made clearly evident by crossing the wave one low at 54.4045 cent. that This is not obviously the move in play. But what we can see here at 54.4 cent giving us confirmation of that move to the upside, that was in fact where we did leave the video the last time out. We had confirmation of this next move to the upside. So overall what we can wrap up going on here is another zigzag pattern to the downside here, giving us a potential B wave or Y wave, however it is you want to look at it. For the sake of today's video, I will look at this as a B wave coming down and we are in a potential C wave here to the upside. So we can take stock here on the zoomed outlook of this one hour chart where we're likely to see the moves for Matic go to. And it looks like by eye here that we have kind of met the levels that we would expect to see that push to the upside go to. So we can grab this lower, um, lower fib level here onto the correct number, which I shall do so. 50.0935, we've snapped that onto the correct number so we can have a bit of accuracy about this one. For a C wave structure, we would be looking for the move to come up to here between 60.9055 cent to as high as 63.7803. And we can see we have pushed right on to the upper areas of this um, move to the upside. We could see this one rally on a little bit more. We can bring it back on just to see what we're looking at here. We can see this one push on up to the 65 cent area possibly as high as the 68 but I do not think that is likely to see this move right up here would see an impulsive trigger hit I do not think that is the move that is in play but we have to keep that in the back of our minds in case that is where we are going with this however the structures are playing out internally here we have the WXY a corrective structure inside of an ABC yet again a corrective structure so overall I do expect to see you know the price start to cool off if it has not started to cool off already we do see quite a downtick in the price action here coming down to test the 21 EMA the 50 EMA sitting much lower with the 200 EMA all the way down here around about 54.9 cent so this move to the upside it does look very impulsive but we have a lot of overlap going on in the chart here so we could do a couple of checks on this one take the 100% move of this initial push to the downside where we could argue that we are in a five wave move to the upside however it does seem very overlappy I don't like the structures are playing out here we came up we've traded sideways we've came up traded sideways dropped down traded sideways and once again we've came up and we're almost trading sideways it's not really exact here but the moves that are playing out could be seen as an impulsive move if we were to draw this onto the charts we could see this as a wave one here coming down into wave two with the wave three coming at 60.8763 we would have to look like we are still within that wave three expecting the fourth wave retracement and a potential fifth wave to the upside so yes indeed we may have ourselves in another five wave move to the upside when we consider this initial push to the upside however it is clearly a corrective structure unless we are reading this completely wrong I don't think we are though I don't think we have five wave structure within here no no we don't this is a purely corrective structure to the upside which brings into question why this one here is so fast moving to the upside let's just do some checks on this one whilst we are on here we could claim that this is a potential for a five wave move with a zigzag okay another way we could be looking at this first of all we'll round out this move to the upside if this is the move that is in play here it'll give us a couple of targets on the charts here 
we could be looking for the wave 4 to retrace down into this area right down here and we could expect the final push to the upside to come here for Matic between, if I could snap this onto the correct levels here, do apologise guys, we're doing this on the fly, we could see that push up towards the 65 to 66 cent area. However, now I look at the chart from a bit of a different light here, we could see a corrective five wave structure to the upside and I will show you what that looks like. Due to the fact that we have this as a clear ABC structure to the upside in this move right here, if we were to bring this 100% move over to the next low, we can see we did hit a 1.618 here, making me think that this move here is not the move that is in play. And what we may be likely to see here is a wave 1, a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4, and a wave 5 to the upside. With this move here holding in another A, B, and C structure, giving us that wave 3. So what we can then look for down here, do we have another corrective ABC structure to come back up in? And it looks like this may actually be already complete. So we are at quite an interesting level here. We could take the 100% move to the upside, bring it over, and we can see we have hit another completed level right on in here. So I do think that a Polygon's Matic is in an interesting level where we may have already seen that push to the upside complete. And we can now look for a correction to the downside. Overall, giving us a 3 3 5 corrective move overall to the upside. This does look more and more likely that this is the case. What we can do before we move off of this chart is assess a few other levels sitting here. We do still have a weak high expected to be broken. We are trading above the 21, 50, and 200 EMAs. Equilibrium sitting around about 56.8 cent, likely to come back down and retest. We have flipped bullish by the Smart Money Concepts character with a strong low. All signs here pointing to further pushes to the upside. When we take into note the position of the stochastics, the one hour is now oversold, looking for a push to the upside. Bring it up to the four hour charts. Well, we do have a different story. It has just came out of the overbought area, looking for a correction to the downside, where we can also see the eight hour and the daily looking for that correction. So more and more likely, guys, we may be finished out this fifth wave corrective move to the upside once again. We can draw this on the charts to show what it is we're looking at. We had the initial A, B and C structure as a wave 1. We then had another A, B and C structure as a wave 3. Once again, another A, B and C structure as the wave 5. Overall looking like a wave 1, wave 2. This here being the wave 3, a wave 4 and a wave 5. I should probably bring these down so they look a bit more accurate. I do apologise for this one, guys. But overall, we can see what it is we're looking at. The corrective five-wave move to the downside for Matic is likely to be the move that is in play here. Overall, giving us the three-wave three, three, three wave move up in the wave one. We would then come down in three waves in the wave two. Three waves up in the wave three. Another three waves down in the wave four. With the last three-wave move up in this wave five, giving us the five-wave move overall. Where we can look further out here, we did have that initial W, X and Y to the upside with another A, B and C structure to the downside. And we do zoom out on this one, guys, giving us a completed zigzag correction here as a W, X and Y. I have that labelled up as an A, B, C currently, but it's just for ease of charting. A W, X and Y or an A, B and C corrective structure giving us the complete move here. The three, three, five completed move to the upside. And I do think we have hit that level. When we come back across the charts here, one level I do want to see us hold is this high of 63.4848, where we can see we have currently came up very close to this one, as high as 63.3402. So very close indeed. We have not broke that level, showing us we are still held under here. I'd like to see this level held. The next level of interest we obviously want to see held is the 70 cent area. But for now, guys, I think we need to let this one play out over the next couple of days. See if we can break break this high of 63.4848. But overall, I do think the way the charts are sitting just now, we have the complete three wave up, three wave down, five wave structure to the upside, giving us that zigzag move. I think we have pretty much finished this move to the upside for Polygon's Matic. That was quite intense what we went over there, guys. Thank you for remaining patient if you're still here. Moving over to the one day chart, Matic, and we're looking at the Binance chart here. 
where we can see we are tracking this five wave move to the downside within the C wave. So we have this yellow C wave. We've been tracking it for quite some time. Internally, we do have this five wave structure. The wave four never pushing up high enough to break the wave one low of 94.26 cent. And we have broke on down from here. Minimum expectation for this move to the downside has been met, crossing the 50.89 cent area which would be a double bottom minimum requirement for that um, for sorry this five wave move to the downside however i do think considering positions we have the stochastic sitting in um yeah i do think we will likely see the prices come on back to the downside we may move we may just be moving up any wave four here where we have the wave one wave two all of this being the wave three this wxy we were looking at as the wave four and we potentially still have this fifth wave move to the downside still to come so i do think we are at quite an interesting level for polygons matic this structure within itself obviously invalidation of this five wave move would be the wave four crossing higher than 73.03 cent obviously the impulsive move here we cannot see the wave one low crossed so very much does appear that we are still within this fourth wave now we can see the 200 ema sitting right up at equilibrium here it does look like a key level that the bulls might want to pull this price all the way up to test however as the the current state of the chart is in the position of the likes of the stochastics and so forth it looks highly unlikely for this to do so on this macro scale the bigger look here we can see we are still in a bearish uh, structure here smart money concepts flipping bearish all the way back here and we had our first confirmation of this bullish structure uh, sorry this bearish structure I do think we will see the price pull on back down by crossing this low here we would obviously have the continuation pattern that we are you know still continuing the trend to the downside where overall i am still targeting 44.58 cent to as low as 35.99 cent here on this one day chart for this fifth wave now lastly we will come over to the one week chart where you know it's a bit cleaner it's a bit more straightforward to understand here we can see what has went on for the weekly close the bulls wanted to bring it up to try and test out the 200 the and the 21 emas here in yellow and white respectively and we have seen they failed to do so with the yellow 21 ema now crossing lower than the 200 ema very much a bearish sign in my opinion when we do take note of the position of the stochastic rsi moving up very fast indeed expect this to return to the downside i do potentially a new bear market bottom the current bear market low sitting at 31.6 cent overall guys my narrative in the space has not changed i do see a new bear market low on the horizon for polygons matic i leave that there i would love to know your thoughts and your opinions on everything i stumbled my way through today i hope you've enjoyed today's video leave us a like subscribe tap on the bell also guys leave us a comment let us know what you think's going on and what your targets are for polygons matic are they as low as the potential 16.95 cent to as low as 10 cent or are you just targeting 31.6 cent guys i'll leave that there i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i hope you have a fantastic day i'll catch you in the next one